And it's not, I mean, we're back to like esophagate and what it was that part of it and what was her health. And I mean, the other thing that you can argue is Bravo themselves did confirm when asked that Kathy Hilton was at the reunion. They would not comment about Sutton. So does make you think if they're confirming one and just being silent on the other, maybe it happened. But I, I don't know, guys. Come on. Like these are these are a lot of a lot of you know why? I mean, what about I don't know, fainting at the reunion. We've never had that before, but I don't know if that's true. So bottom line is it was a great week for Vanderpump. Beverly Hills, to me, not so much. Um, before we go, I just want to talk about the rumors. You know, Dumois, I talked about this a little bit earlier in the week too, said that Winter House and several Housewives franchises will not be back in 2024. Dumois, which I always question Dumois and all these people that say they heard a rumor because it's all just rumors. But She's now clarifying and saying, I never said these things were canceled. I just said that they weren't coming back in 2024. Well, Winter House, I believe, and by the way, if Winter House doesn't come back in 2024, I think it's canceled because who's still going to be asking for Winter House after being off for a year? It's an experiment. I think it was cheap. It started during COVID. I don't think the ratings are great. I think we've moved on. Now let's get into several Housewives franchises not coming back in 2024. Not saying they're canceled, but they're not coming back. Well, Salt Lake is filming right now, so it ain't that. Jersey's starting in April. It ain't that. Beverly Hills will take a minute, and then they'll start filming again. It ain't that. RHOC is filming right now. It ain't that. Now we get into Atlanta, Potomac, and New York. So let's break those down. Uh, Atlanta is, I mean, whether it's rebooted, whether we keep Sheree and Candy and Kenya and get some new girls to film with them, it doesn't seem to me like we're close. So sure, if we announce a new RHOA cast in March and film, it could absolutely be back in 2024. I'm starting to think RHOA isn't coming back in 2024. I mean, Candy two weeks ago said we don't know anything. Sheree two weeks ago when she was doing stuff for the Traders said, you know, this. So it's like, I think RHOA, you know, I think they just don't know what to do. Now, I also think, let me just tell you, I think New York has something to do with that. Because where is New York? Like New York has come back and everyone says, oh, it was a failure. But I still say the ratings were good enough based on the cost and salaries, but they weren't great. So I think that New York being back and not being a huge success makes you think like, does this whole reboot work, right? So New York, I think could be used as an example of why not to reboot Atlanta. I mean, again, I think it's so great that there are so many originals from Vanderpump on the thing. I think that's why it works. I think that's why Southern Charm had a great season. We have so many newbies I know, but Craig and Shep and Austin, they are they are, have been there for so long. So I think that's what I love. So I think New York not being like a huge block out breakout success makes you think we can't just reboot things. It's not just that easy. So I don't know, but I think because there's no buzz about Atlanta, we're in we're in February. I think maybe Atlanta won't be back in 2024. New York, where is New York? Why is nobody talking about this? Everyone's saying this was off for four months. This was off for five months. Atlanta, how many months has how many weeks months has New York been off? It feels like forever since that. Re Why is nobody talking about the new season of Roni 15? Are they casting? What's up with contracts? There's no buzz about it. So to me, I'm now starting to think New York's in trouble. I'm starting to think it wasn't what they hoped. I don't know. Maybe I'm being too in my thoughts about it. But so I think because we're not talking about New York, I'm starting to think, where's that? I think maybe that won't be back this year. And because then maybe if that's the case and it wasn't such a huge breakout blockbuster, we're thinking twice about rebooting Atlanta, which if we're not rebooting Atlanta, 
What do we do? What do we do? I think we keep Candy and Kenya, and I, I guess Sheree, I, I guess. Probably just because she's Sheree. And then, but we're not close to that. So where's Atlanta? And now let's get into Potomac. I mean, Houston, we kind of have a problem. I think Potomac is better than Atlanta and better than New York. I don't think Potomac is broken, broken. But I think if we're going to reset Potomac and it's going to end in February, March, I'm starting to think that's not going to be back with the new season in 2024 either. So I think this prediction could be right. I think it's time to change up Potomac after this somehow. So I don't know. I'm starting to think New York's in trouble. I'm starting to think Atlanta's in trouble, right? Because I mean, where is the chatter about New York? Everyone's asking where Atlanta is. Where's the chatter about New York? And we normally hear things, guys, like before Alexis and before we normally hear when contracts are ready to go out. Like, that's the thing. We don't hear anything about Atlanta. We don't hear anything about New York. So I think New York is in trouble. I think Atlanta is in trouble. And in trouble, I mean, like, I just don't think they know what to do. This is how everyone got their job back on Jersey. We just didn't know what to do. We invited everyone back. I don't think people would be in jeopardy of losing their jobs per se on New York, but I think that they would try to maybe mix it up. But I just think, you know, we're not invested. So to have one season and then not have it back, I don't know. I don't know. I, I really don't know. But this is, I mean... Tell me out there, somebody, if you've heard any chatter about New York, because I've checked all my sources and there is no chatter. And same thing with Atlanta. So, and then what do we, what, what do we do with Potomac? When I say like, keep Karen and, you know, they're going to keep Giselle and keep Ashley and keep Candace. So many people are like, but Karen doesn't do anything either. And this and that, and I don't know. I'm just trying to think of some way to like make Potomac so good. It's not bad. I'm not, not liking it. I'm not loving it, really. I'm not. And I want Potomac to be so good. So I think we should do something else. I'm starting to think those are the three that, you know, when Potomac ends, it's not coming back this year either. I don't know, guys. I want to love all this stuff. Housewife and Hustler, we're going to watch when it comes on. Part two, we will regroup. I mean, is the whole thing for the redemption of Erica? This is like, are we having two years of redeeming Erica? I mean, she meets the victims. They don't, you know, so that's, let's not think this is going to be edited so great for Erica, but we've got, we've got a lot going on. Listen, I love you all. We're going to keep talking about things. Hopefully you like this. I want to do a more thorough, I really wanted to do a more thorough review of Beverly Hills today, but when I sat down, I was like, there's nothing. So next week will be a great one. I hope everyone is having a great Saturday. I love